Hello, random people. How are you? I'm good. Um, yes, so this is my first one. My first proper one. So I'm going to talk about the various things that were suggested uh, last week, which was the plan. Unfortunately, none of you actually came up with a consensus about a single topic, which is slightly annoying. So I have a list. That's my handwriting, by the way. I'll show you. See? Um, I could have been a doctor. That's how good my handwriting is. So there's uh, various things here. I'm going to try and go through them all. I'm not sure if I'll get to them all in five minutes, but I shall try. And, and I hope it works. I have to admit, it's been a little less prepared than I would have liked to have been, mainly because I've been in a lot of pain recently. And if you know me, I take these painkillers called Tramadol. They're lovely. They get rid of the pain. They do kind of maybe slightly spaced. And so I lie in bed trying to think of these things, but get all confused. And, and last night I was having visions of taking a drink, when people drink from a, a tap and, and at night, and you, I, I drink like that, you just cut your hands and you drink from that, or you can do the thing where you just dip into the stream and you kind of go there, 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 and, and have the water. And I was worrying about this while in my tramadol state of mind, that if you did that and you had one of the taps that kind of comes over your head, you could get stuck. And that you'd end up having to sort of break the sink off of the wall and go into A&E with kind of half a sink going down your face. And this really concerned me last night. I mean, I thought about this for a good hour or so, about what you'd do and how you'd fix it, and could you get out of it without going to A&E? And this is why Tramadol is a bad idea for me. Good idea for pain, bad idea for moving things forward like this. Um, and, and none of you wanted me to talk about PSC or my health or medication, so I'm not really gonna talk about that anymore. So I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna start with, really? The suggestion was giant spiders whose bodies are too big to hold their weight. Um, so uh, does that happen? Because surely that would only happen if a spider was really, really good and ate lots of flies and, flies and other things, and then they got fat, and then they wouldn't be able to hold themselves up with their spindly legs. And that's what I was thinking. And, and essentially, what a spider is, who can't support its own weight with its legs, is a full stop that's tried to be drawn by someone with Parkinson's disease. And that's kind of what it is. Which led me down thinking, actually, that you could create a rival to the, the Nook and the Kindle with trained spiders. So you keep them well fed, so they can't move. But you also train them to, to curl up and become a full stop and to extend an arm and become a comma, or an apostrophe, or to, to become an I, or you can train them to all the letters of the alphabet. And then what you do is you carry a bag of them around with you, a bag of these fat spiders, and you can spill them out on any surface. And you could read an ebook because you could train them to be an ebook, and you'd just sort of like go, next, and then they would all change, and it'd be the next page of the ebook. And I thought this would be a really, really good idea, because you don't need any technology, you don't need any batteries, it's got infinite life. It just means that every now and then you have to feed them a couple of, of flies, and it would be wonderful. I, what I couldn't figure out, though, is whether you would have to have a whole different set of spiders for each ebook. I don't know how intelligent spiders are. So I don't know whether they could learn multiple books, so you could have, like, sci-fi spiders, or maybe spiders by author, or whether each collection of spiders could only do one book. But I think it's a good plan. And, and the only thing that concerns me is that you'd have to train those spiders not to eat your face while you slept. Because everyone knows that's what insects and bugs do, is they eat your face while you sleep, which is why you have to squish them before you go to bed and you have to hunt around your room to stop them. And, and I was thinking that you, you could keep them in your pocket in a little bag, or you could have special spider bags when you go whoosh, and then read on the train, and that'd be quite cool, and you could swap them with people. But if you're like me, you could keep them in your beard, because that's what beards are good for, keeping things in. And, and it links in to one of the other ones. See, I'm doing a connected thing, it's quite clever. Um, so keep them in your beard, because beards are useful for keeping things in. People ask me why I've got a beard, and um, essentially I have a beard and, and hair like this, essentially, because of laziness. I, I, I don't like getting my hair done. It's a complete waste of money and time. And, and really, does it matter? So at the moment, I am um, I'm that lazy. That's how lazy I am at the moment. Uh, and that lazy. And, and there's also the connotations that come with being clean shaven. Everyone says that you shouldn't want a beard because paedophiles have beards and these people have beards and creepy people have beards. But think about the people who, who are clean shaven. Politicians are clean shaven. Hipsters are clean shaven. Don't really know what they are, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to be one. Um, kids are clean shaven. I don't want to be a kid. And, and 
Bankers, bankers are clean shaven. No, surely you don't want to associate with that. So it's better to have a beard than not, surely. I mean, you can keep it trimmed. You can probably keep it slightly better than mine. But beards are wonderful. Beards do this amazing thing that, that I don't know if you've never had a beard, you won't know. But like I said earlier, I drink in the night when I'm thirsty from the tap. I cut my hands into the tap and go, and, and it's a good way to drink. And it, it, it makes you wonder why you don't cut more things in your hands, really, and drink. Um, and then you go to bed, and sometimes when you do that, I and mean, you're in your sort of dream adult state, you don't drink enough. And, and that's always a problem for me, so I don't really drink enough. And so I get back into bed and think, oh, fuck, I wish I'd drunk more. And, and the wonderful thing about the beard is, is you can kind of go like this. And there's water caught there, up to hours later. And it's like having a second drink. I've got a friend in Wales who calls it the second sip. And I think that's really lovely. It, so beards contain things and can hold things. So they could control, hold your spider slaves um, to read ebooks with. But you'd have to train them not to eat your face while you slept, which is a big worry of mine, insects eating my face. Um, it does kind of worry me. And blimey, that's been five minutes. Um, that's five minutes of me rambling. Okay, sorry, everyone else. Um, I will get on to those other things at some point, but, but suggest things, try and come to a consensus. That's usually more easier for me to one topic rather than a whole array of topics to think around. Um, and, and this week, this show has been brought to you by um, Dr Pepper. So I'll try how to speak through. Dr Pepper and Jaffa Cakes. Not just any Jaffa Cakes. Name brand Jaffa Cakes. That's that's how they're oh, because they were a pound at the local co-op. I got two boxes. Don't tell anyone else because I will eat them all. I used to do this thing where I'd open a box like that and give one away and then if someone came up to me and went, have you eaten all of them? I could truthfully say, no, no I haven't eaten all of them at all. Um, but now I don't care and, and I do, and if they come up, there's a sort of sense of pride. People come up to me and go, have you eaten all of them? I mean, yes, yes I have and they were awesome. But anyway, that's me for this week, so um, thank you for listening to me ramble and, and please comment and subscribe there's a subscribe link somewhere I don't I haven't quite figured out this YouTube thing there's a subscribe thing up there subscribe it's good it makes me feel better about myself and, and discuss things down there and give me a topic a full topic and, and then I will go away and I will do that next week so yes until next week goodbye random people and I shall see you later